Hi guys, today we're going to be looking at an East German Volks Polize, uh Strictarn uniform. And the reason why I say it's Volks Polize is mainly because someone else told me so. And because of these unique metal buttons. So on the outside, this thing pretty much looks like a standard uh, NBA uniform. One of the unique things about this uniform is the front pockets. And actually, these front pockets appear on uh, regular uniforms in the year 1979. So the NBA was constantly changing the uniform's look. And um, this is a very, you know, unique kind of thing. They did this for one year. From what I've read so let's take um, a look around the uniform so you know on the front first thing we got is just standard raindrop strict tarn pattern like I mentioned before we got these two pockets on the front and um, see the inter interior fabric it's I've seen this fabric before on the pants and um, yeah it's a uh, kind of unique you don't see this pattern all the time uh, I think they kind of used it later on during like the UTV pattern phase but I don't know exactly why they went with this particular choice so yeah the metal buttons take a look at them about the same standard size as the other buttons except they are metal and we'll see on the other side this is what they look like so yeah that's very cool and um, probably there for longevity's sake so that they last longer and moving up we got these um you know front pockets that also have this type of material and another set of two metal buttons and you can button them here just like that and then inside we have the same type of fabric and we have another one on that side so if we open it up on the inside we can see that we have uh, stamps, 0, 187, M48. So we've got the M48 size and the size tag right here. Again, we can see there's material for the pockets, whatever reason. Oh, we have more stamping here, MDL, M48, 802. Yeah, so there's actually a good website. You can look up the interior stampings on any uniform you have, and you can find out exactly what year they're produced. Because like I said, almost every year there was some sort of minor you know variation and inside here we have the buttons and another interior button right here and going up towards the collar you know we just had a standard size tag really standard for these type of uniforms and some buttons for the um, collar lining I didn't put any rank, you know, uniform tabs on here, um, but they are the standard for the other regular uniforms. Uh, yeah. So going to the left arm, we have a pocket. And this material is going to be the same type of material with the same type of buttons. All right. And for the wrists, we also have these metal buttons. So you can adjust it. Looks like there's only two here. And on the uh, right arm, we have the same arm buttons and the same metal buttons. So basically, this thing is pretty much a bog standard uniform with the only really changes being the metal buttons. And I thought it's pretty cool, I've got to say. And we also have one up here by the collar. I'm going to flip it over. You know, the back, pretty standard. Nothing really changed, honestly. I don't know, like, how rare these uniforms are. I've never really seen other ones like them for sale. Um, I don't really know too much about the Volks Polize. Um, I don't think I've seen them wearing these uniforms. So if anyone has any like reference photos of them actually wearing this strict tarn, please let me know. 
I got this on a Facebook group for like 30 bucks. I mean, it's pretty good, I think, for a fairly uncommon uniform. Like, like I said, I've never seen these buttons. And I actually just sold this uniform for 100 bucks. So, obviously, someone out there is willing to pay 100 bucks for pretty much a regular looking uniform except for those buttons. So it's gotta be somewhat special. Anyway, I'm just gonna flip it over again. And uh, I hope you enjoyed this somewhat deep look at it. I mean, I think I covered most of the parts, you know. Not really too much to see, mostly just a standard uniform other than those buttons. But yeah, like I said, the uh, side pockets are pretty, pretty cool and unique. Very, very nice. But anyway, guys, thanks for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll just take one final shot of the uniform. All right, thanks for watching.